you want to meet them where they are more comfortable and where they are and then being able to offer financial services through that medium where they are currently comfortable. I think that's where the main uh, focus should be. My name is Koka Oluwale and I work for FCMB Limited Nigeria. Um, I head mobile and internet banking for the bank. Um, it's a role I've been on for a couple of years now. Uh, so major work is to ensure that our customers get access to um, our mobile apps, you know, and then be able to get access to easy financial services. And we try to support our customers as, as, as much as possible. Infobip is um, a communication company that is doing a lot, you know, to help our business grow. And I say Infobip is doing great, and we have um, a, a love for Infobip, and we think that um, the future is with us together in trying to drive more customer base, you know, for the bank. Customers prefer different kind of channel for communication. Some people prefer the SMS, other prefer email, some other people prefer the apps. And so what would need to happen is um, understanding what medium the customer would prefer to be communicated through. Having that understanding it helps you then to be able to communicate to that customer on that channel. There will always be, you know, a secondary channel just in case this is not up at this time. But it's just important to know that. Um, wherever the customer like the communication should be, it's where you should then push those communications to. And that's how you're going to help us as banks to be able to communicate better to these customers. You want to meet them where they are more comfortable and where they are, and then being able to offer financial services through that medium where they are currently comfortable. I think that's where the main uh, focus should be. The matter of compliance is very huge because um, the banks are highly regulated, and because of regulations, it's a lot of um, uh, there's a lot of um, I would say uh, controls that are put in place. So one of the important things is that you do not want a situation where some of customers' data, you know, are uh, you know, are breached, you know, and you want to ensure that there's security, you know, around. So I mean, the challenge with compliance again is that. Uh, compliance wanted to put a lot of security around some of these uh, processes and too much of security is a ton of you know for customers and so that become like oh we need to protect the customer but at the same time you're yeah, affecting the experience the customer really want to have and so um, I think the resolution you know for me will be to meet in, in the middle ground where we are sure that um, customer data is protected and the customer have you know, lesser um, controls, you know, to be able to um, complete or access financial services in that as well. There are a lot of multi-layer um, um, controls that you can put in place that are not so stringent. So I would say that an additional, you know, 2FA, you know, uh, an OTP to complete transaction, you know, here and there, it's very important. I think the onboarding process should be um, very, um, um, there should be a lot of work around the onboarding process because when you onboard rightly and then you have data protection for the customers, you probably don't have a problem with this customer, you know, being able to transact in, in that space. So I think the real work, you know, is to ensure that um, the service is, 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 is given, the customer is able to do whatever they want to do and they are periodic checks, make sure that um, the data is pro protected as well and so there's no data breach, you know, in any way. And I think that that will help uh, conversation banking. I think, um, importantly, there's a rise in data analytics, um, rise in um, AI, and I think these are, you know, good, this is actually good, you know, for the world at large. So I, I think there are a lot of, you know, data we can play around. We have, today, we have a lot of solutions. Banks are somehow, you know, fragmented. You have a lot of services here and there. You have the insurance, you have banking services, you have fintechs, you have a lot of standalone services everywhere. I think we, we move into an era where we begin to have things like super hubs, 
where most of all of these people are kind of integrated together you know in one place and by that time with all the data that we have and ai you can um, suggest personalized um, service to um, customers and these customers can have the service you know as they want it because you already know you already have some of this data you already have you already understand where this customer will be where they are located and all of that so you can offer service based on you know their income their um, uh, their location their homes their family you know and offering relative service you know that are personalized to customers is what the customer really needs i mean i don't want anybody push to me any kind of service that i do not really want you know to me it's a distraction so if you already have some of this data and then you have ai to support it and then i think personalized service is what should be offered and then um, that's the future i think now i'm living my life in my own terms finding my voice making my own choice